What's up, everybody? Bill with Honest Dome Permaculture Hot Farm, and let's do an update on this chicken compost system. Okay, so the compost system is doing pretty well. I'm getting my workflow down better. Uh, I'm kind of figuring out what I need to do, kind of on a daily basis for it. And I'm just gonna walk you through that right now, what I do. See, this is the bay, bay number three. This is the third position. It, what did start off in there, then come to number two, and then come to number three. And they're still kicking that apart, so I'll just come through and I'll stack it back up all around it and build it back up. And that's pretty much all I'm doing here and in bay number two. Now I am starting to get some uh, cinder blocks. I think I'm gonna block off this area so the compost stays in a more general area and they're not kicking it all over the place. I can do that on this side and I can do that on this side so I can move it back and forth. Now we did change some stuff in bay two. Let me show you what we did, what we changed there. So if you remember in bay two, what we were doing is just keeping it on this side and we're moving it back and forth, back and forth. Compost on this side, compost it on this side. And I decided to move it this way now from left to right to keep it off of the coop. Um, as you can tell down here, it was keeping it wet also. And I don't want these boards to really start rotting and breaking down and composting the coop from the outside and the inside. I don't think that would be a good idea. So I moved their food that was in this corner out of here, put it behind us. Girly, girly, go on. You just took a dust bath. Okay, we, we love it. Cool. Whew. Talkative. Big Blue, how do you deal with it all the time? Where you at, boy? Come get her. <laughs> all right, well, like I said, we're, now, we're, now we're moving this pile from Bay 2 back and forth like this instead of back and forth like this. What I do in here on a daily basis is I just throw this back up on top. As you can see, it's revealing some more food that they buried, some sprouts, some corn. <laughs> just kind of get it out of the pathway, throw it back up. Oh, and a couple of times a week, I'll take this and move it to the other side and back and forth, you know, a couple of times a week. That's not an everyday process. At most, it would be an every two day process, but it's, I'm, I'm doing it about every three to four days. But on a daily basis, I am taking this material like this and throwing it back up onto the pile. If it's on this side, of course, I'm taking it out of here and throwing it up on this side. As you can tell this girl, I don't know if you can see this girl down here, she's uh, taking advantage of what I'm revealing. Getting her a nice meal. So inside the coop itself, let's check it out. What are we doing in here? Well, same as usual. We're just kind of giving it air because it gets really matted down and anaerobic. Giving it air, piling it back up in here. This is a, a daily thing for right now. It doesn't take very long to do this. I mean, total... If I don't have to move a compost pile back and forth, like in bay two, um, it's 10, 
maybe 10 minutes a day for the chickens. It's feeding them, scooping a little compost out of the walkway, doing this right here, 10, 15 minutes a day. But when I'm moving the big compost pile, or moving the stuff in bay two, if I have to move stuff out of here, the job gets a little more extensive. That's gonna take anywhere from 30 minutes to an hour and a half or so, depending on how big of a job I need to do. I'm assuming at some point, well, I know at some point. Girly, why are you being so loud? That we're gonna be, all four bays are gonna be in use, right? So when I take stuff out of here, I'm gonna put it in bay two. Well, when bay two is full, obviously I'm gonna have to take stuff out of bay two, put it in bay three. Well, bay three is full, so I'm gonna have to take stuff out of bay three, put it in bay four. We'll see how long that takes me to move everything from the coop to bay two, to bay three, to bay four. That's probably gonna take, that's probably gonna take a little while. Maybe 30 minutes a pile, so 30, an hour. Maybe not 30 minutes a pile. Recording it and talking about it, editing it, yeah, it's gonna be at least 30 minutes a pile. I could probably bust it out 10 to 15 minutes hustling and not recording and stopping and talking, petting these pretty girls. But let's continue stacking. Just a few minutes of work in here. We'll knock off the poop on the back wall. Collect some eggs and we can get the heck out. This girl's sitting on a whole bunch of them. Hopefully she's not going broody. I'm not great with the uh, the name of the breeds, y'all, so forgive me, but I think that's some sort of a, that's an Americana or Easter Egger or something like that. I know it lays a, a greenish, bluish egg. So I asked for some advice on my last chicken compost video about the gaps in the top. And what else about, oh yeah, the poop on the back wall. How, if anyone has any quick fixes or any good fixes for that. I got some awesome comments, some good answers. I'm definitely gonna put those into to use. The back wall, someone, a couple of people suggested some sort of uh, skid plate or cardboard or piece of wood at an angle. So when the poop hits it, it just falls off instead of landing on that ledge. And then a lot of people were saying, yeah, I should probably just go ahead and... Hey, 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 hush, goodness gracious. I should probably just go ahead and close these up. Um, and I, I, I agree. Uh, this isn't like airtight. This isn't sealed airtight. So it's not like it's going to fill up with gases and, and kill the chickens. So I was probably being overcautious, just kind of solid on a video somewhere. I'm like, ooh, that's what I need to do. So I apologize if I made anybody else do the same thing. <laughs> so we were going to fill this in. But I think it will be a good idea for ventilation in the summer. So I'm still trying to figure out a way to fill it in. But then it still has a way to kind of get a breeze going through it in the summer. So if you look up here, you can see the cobwebs blowing around. So there is a night, there is a breeze that comes through. Should I seal it up completely, guys? Should I put wood up there like is already there and just seal it up completely? Um, some people said maybe cardboard. Uh, I was also thinking like straw, like if I took some straw and I really put it up here like insulation. Um, and during the summer, I could take the straw down, just throw it in the coop. I don't know if that's, I don't know. I'm just brainstorming ideas right now. You guys had some good ones for me and now I'm just thinking, uh, girly. Okay, I know you're happy. I know you're happy, you're happy. All those sprouts you got. Goodness gracious. So let me know. I, I don't want. I don't think I'm going to board it up completely. So if you guys uh, can think of, you think the hay is a good idea, you know, put some cardboard up there, throw some hay on there. I can rip it down and then just compost that when I want during the summer. Let me know down in the comments below. And I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and share this with a friend, guys. Later.